Hey everybody, Jim Chester here. Day two, day two of Focus OKC. I got uh, my good friend here, Peter Morgan. This guy rocks the stage uh, last night, and we're gonna get a little uh, package deal of what he talked about on stage last night, and uh, we're gonna ask him about these awesome mission trips that he plans, and uh, how many have you been on now? Well, I'm leaving for my 87th tomorrow, so 86. Wow. 86 mission trips. <laughs> and. Let's, let's uh, let the folks know about um, how much it means for Tim Young to bring such good, talented people to the stage. Well, this has been a, an incredible focus. Uh, the people that are speaking, I just heard Ryan Reeder out of England, man, incredible. Yeah, Jim's bringing all the great people here, and uh, thank, I thank him so much for having me and talking about my mission. It was great last night speaking here. Thank you. Yeah, Tim Young, uh, his Focus crew, I got the Focus hat on today. I'll be wearing that all day, rocking it, and I uh, got the Hustle shirt on, so I'm going to be hustling Focus all day long here for you. Um, so why did you decide that the mission trips were so important for chiropractic? Well, they're really incredibly important for chiropractic because it's the purest form of chiropractic because we go to these poor areas where people cannot afford anything and they're living in huts, they're living on dirt floors and they really need help from all kinds of people. And when we give our service of chiropractic and um, it's an incredible gift to these people and the only thing that they can give back is a smile and love. They don't have any money to pay us. So in this particular point of chiropractic, we're just giving love and receiving love. And the more that we give, there's, a, there's seven laws of spirit spiritual success. The second law is the law of giving. The seventh law is the law of receiving. The more that I've given over my life doing these mission trips, the more I keep receiving. So it's a phenomenal, it's a phenomenal experience for the people there because miracles are happening in their lives. It's a phenomenal experience for us because miracles are happening in our lives. Yeah, and I know that there's such a necessity for people getting checked and corrected with vertebral subluxation. Have you seen any narratives like year after year you going back and seeing people's lives changing that you continuously go and visit with? Well, you know, it, it, it's, it, we go to the same places most of the times. We're in the same places over and over and again. So we do get to experience uh, people coming back to us over and over again and telling us about the miracles that have happened in their lives. Sometimes um, we might not see it because we're adjusting the person. It might be the only adjustment they ever received. But I can tell you this. Um, <clears throat> In the last uh, number of mission trips, uh, probably the last 75, I have been the administrator. And sometimes I'm dropping doctors off at a site where they're going to be giving their loving service. And uh, a few times people come up to me and say, hey, doc, can you adjust me? And I say, no, because, you know, we have these doctors here. But no, doc, the last time you adjusted me, I've had so many miracles in my life. I used to have this big thyroid sticking out of my neck. You know, I couldn't believe that one. I, I was like a miracle for me, a thyroid sticking out of her neck, and, and she responded. Other people have told me, when you touched me, see, in Haiti, they call us the touch healers. They, there's no chiropractors in Haiti, and that's where we serve most of the time, and they have named us the touch healers. There's no chiropractors in Haiti, but everybody knows chiropractic in Haiti, and we are the touch healers. It's miraculous. So give me a little, unpack a little bit about what you covered on stage last night. Well, last night I got to talk about why I've been doing missions, and uh, people might not know this, but the first mission trip that I ever was on was when our New York City, I'm a chiropractor in New York City for 33 years, and New York City in 2001, our city was attacked. And uh, after the city was attacked, I happened to be on the executive board of the New York Chiropractic Council, and it was the first time in our profession that, uh, that we worked officially with the Red Cross. So. We worked at five respite centers uh, for nine months in New York City. We were adjusting firemen. We were adjusting policemen. We were adjusting people coming to find things from their lost ones. We were adjusting so many people down there for nine months. And that was my first mission trip. Uh, shortly thereafter, I went to the Dominican Republic nine months later with my wife and my friend and his wife. And we were playing golf, but we took our chiropractic tables. And then someone asked us if we could adjust their mom. And we went to a village that was one mile from this beautiful resort that we were staying on and it was the most impoverished village I've ever seen and when we went to adjust their mom um, people were all around us they saw this mom come off the table and they all wanted to be adjusted and so we started adjusting people and I said this has to be a mission trip and uh, so last night I got to explain about why I'm doing all this mission work all of these times and how powerful See, the mission can transform your life. If you come on a mission, the mission will transform your life, okay, besides transforming the people that we're working with. Um, so 
I advise people all the time, bring your CAs, because if you bring a CA, and when they see you in your truest form, your true chiropractic form, this will set an office on fire. So uh, come down and get on fire. <laughs> so I know you just said about bringing more people down there, like bringing the staff, but what have you seen some of the, the miracles from people that went down there and served and how they responded to it? Incredible. Um, one time, <clears throat> One time, I'll just tell a quick short story. I had a fourth, uh, a fourth quarter student out of Sherman. His name is Tim Hartman. Um, he came down on a, uh, a mission trip, and I was, uh, we, were, we were standing around, and there was two young ladies adjusting all of these children. And someone came up to us and said, hey, can, can you adjust my mom? She's been paralyzed for about nine months. So me and a, and a doctor named Dr. Stephen Seminetti and Dr. Tim Hartman went over to see this woman who they brought out, they carried out, and put on the table. She had been paralyzed for nine months. And so, and they told me, I think Tim Hartman should adjust this woman. So I said to Tim, I said, Tim, uh, you're going to be adjusting this woman. Now, Steve Simonetti has been in practice 35 years. I've been in practice 33 years. And he's like, I'm a fourth quarter student. I said, and Nate's telling me. So Steve, um, I'm rather Tim Hartman, he um, gave a uh, upper cervical adjustment, atlas adjustment. And... Um, and so I'm thinking, and he says after he adjusted her, he goes, I think that's all she needed. I know that's all she needed. That's what Nate is telling me. And I'm saying, who am I to argue with your innate? So we'll come back and check on you tomorrow. I'm thinking, oh, tomorrow I'll come back. I'll do a lumbar adjustment. You know, maybe, you know, even in my mind, I'm thinking, well, she needs some kind of rehabilitation. And so we come back to check on her the next morning. And we have this on video, too, by the way. Uh, we come back to check on her the next morning, and she's walking. And here's the most awesome thing, is the next day, they brought us three more people who were paralyzed. Well, that's pretty, pretty, pretty profound. Pretty cool. So a lot of times, I, I like kind of ask uh, people I'm interviewing uh, a miracle story that they've seen. I didn't even have to ask you that. You just knew that that was innately inside of you, that, that you know, Tim Hartman story. By the way, Tim Hartman, if you're watching this, we love you. Awesome chiropractor. Uh, he's, he's graduated now, right? Yeah, he's been in practice. I think he, he practices in North Carolina and upper cervical work. Um, yeah, I think he he came on another he came on two other trips after that. He brought his knee chest table with him, I think. Uh, I'm trying to remember. So I've had so many people <laughs> over four thousand people have come on my mission trips. But yeah, um, he was one of the most uh, profound students um, that I've seen, and 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 I don't even know why um, it happened. I I can just say, and Nate said, Tim, you got to adjust her. You know, that's the way it works sometimes. So I guess the big question and the big idea for what you're doing is if more people want to get involved with you, how do they do that? Well, we have three websites. One, I talked about this last night. One is called chiromissions.com, and that's for chiropractors to come on a mission trip. Those are our chiropractic mission trips. We also have missionlifeinternational.com. That is our 501c3 um, nonprofit organization. We're nonprofit in Haiti, in the Dominican Republic, and in the United States. It's tax deductible. See, I want people to come on this mission trip who are not chiropractors and see chiropractors in this light. So in January of 2019, I have 30 NGOs from the United Nations. I'm the representative to chiropractic to the United Nations. My office in New York City, one of my offices, I have seven offices, is two blocks from the United Nations buildings. And on Thursdays, I go there and I, and I basically hand out my cards to people and tell them they should come on a mission trip. And so I have 30 NGOs, representative from 30 different non-governmental organizations, coming to Haiti on a chiropractic mission trip. They're going to see chiropractic in the true light that it really is. See, that's the big idea, day after day, that you've been doing. How long have you been doing the mission trips? I uh, started uh, in 2001 we, uh, was the, when the Twin Towers went down, and in 2002 is when I started the mission trips. So 16 years already. And you're on your 87th one here soon. 87th mission trip. I'm coming. Um, yeah, and in September on an 88th mission trip, we have a really awesome mission trip. If you can, any of you guys can make it, we have our mission trip starts in Haiti. We have four days in Haiti. We end in the Dominican Republic, four days in the Dominican Republic. On the last two days of the Dominican Republic, we have a big, uh, which we call Cairo Festival. We have a, a big seminar like this one here on the beach in the Dominican Republic. We have Eddie Cordero speaking. He's our featured speaker, but we have 15 other speakers that you would all know. Um, and we have, um, we have 
the president of Life University coming down. We have the vice president of Life West University and the president of Sherman. It's just going to be a powerful mission trip. So you guys can see with enough concentrated effort and enough desire and passion, you guys can do whatever you want to as well. And I think that that's a thing that most people just don't give themselves permission to do. They don't, they don't take action on things that are so, um, not so easy, but that just makes sense for people to do stuff like you're doing. So I just want to say congratulations for sticking with it and staying the course. And really that's why you got such a great reputation for doing what you do is because you stay the course and you go into action and you get more people to take action as well. Well, that's the thing, you know, it's, 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 it's about Napoleon Hill said, the measure of intelligence is action. So taking action is key. Uh, anyone can do these type of things. You just need to take action. Well, is it okay if I go ahead and close out? Great. I had a good time with you. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> yeah. So I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been with us on uh, this whole episode of the Cairo Hustle live stream from Focus OKC. This is their ninth year anniversary. Next year, Peter, they're going to have their tenth year anniversary. I think that thing's going to be big. Yeah, I, I want to say thank you to Jim and to Tim Young. Um, this has been a great event, and I really appreciate what you're doing. I wanted to let you know, traveling the world, going to seminar after seminar, talking chiropractic to the masses, you're really changing the world by what you're doing, and Luke um, as well. So thank you guys so much for the work that you do. It's so important, this work that you're doing. Well, it's basically chiropractic missions with a microphone. Yes, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. And, and just a quick question. Why should more people make it to the 10th year anniversary? Well, the, first of all, if you want your practice to explode, the speakers here are phenomenal. So uh, just, just for your own personal growth, it's incredible. But certainly, it, it's, it's about let's work together as a team. The more people that we have coming here, the team grows, and we have a common, we have a common core. We have a common heart for what we're doing. So as the team grows, we'll be able to change the world quicker. It's about changing the world, and <clears throat> we need a core group of people to change the world. And with that being said, I just want to thank everybody once again for being with us today. Um, I'm going to be going live all day long until about 5, 36 o'clock. They have a big party with everybody tonight here with the Focus Group. So with that, um, thank you, Peter, once thank again. Thank you so much. I thank you. you. I love you. Appreciate you. Thank you so thank much. You so much. Thank you. Anyone out there that's watching that isn't here this year and thinks that it might be a good idea to come out here and build some fellowship and some connections within the chiropractic community, talking real chiropractic, supporting real chiropractic for the future of chiropractic and for the present day that you're alive, uh, come out here to Focus OKC 2019. Um, the big line I'd use is, you're just one story away. <laughs> Keep hustling. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> Great.